Okay, it's been about a week, maybe a little bit more, since the last time I posted a video of my computer. Uh, I've done a few changes since then. Uh, one of them being a, I doubled up the fan on the top, so just more air gets out. Uh, I removed the fan for the CPU cooler at the side there. And, uh, there's a good reason for that because. I ended up removing the CPU cooler altogether, replacing it with water cooling. So I got water cooling put in, which keeps the uh, CPU very cold um, under at idle, pretty much. Since there's four cores, it runs a lot hotter than, like, say, a single core or a dual core. I get about. 18, 19 degrees Celsius at idle under full load, like let's say a crisis for like an hour. Um, actually, here's a good example because I had been playing it prior to making this video. So, I have the AMD overdrive open, and now you can see they're cooling off now. They're still quite hot, 44 degrees Celsius each core. Uh, takes oddly a long time for it to cool down. I mean like it's been about 10-15 minutes. I mean mind you it was at 55 uh, just after shutting it off or shutting off crisis and now it's at 43.5, 44. It's still maintaining that temperature. It's not really dropping or raising at all which is awkward for water cooling but um, Mind you, for the amount that the CPU is overclocked and over voltage, it's really, really, you know, decent. Like, if I still had that air cooler, I probably would have had system lock up a long time ago. But, um, anyway, so yeah. Um, the water cooling is new. Uh, it's not a big deal, but more fans, whatever. Uh, another thing to add it is a Western Digital Raptor hard drive, 10,000 RPM. Uh, it's small though, it's only 32 gigs, which, you know, I don't need anything bigger because the only thing I have on it is Crisis. Uh, other than that, there's nothing else on that hard drive, it's the one up top. There's the 500 gig that came with the computer, well, didn't really come with it that I bought originally. Um, other than that, uh, nothing has changed. Uh, I reflashed the video cards. So now the core clocks are 840 megahertz instead of 820. It's a tiny jump, but you know, two to three frames difference. So every little bit helps. Uh, but anyways, there's the, the water cooling block, compressor and all that stuff. It's essentially a fridge. Uh, the pipes you can see down to where the CPU is, kind of. Other than that, there's nothing else new. Everything's the same. Um, the only problem is, I got a big hole in the window. Kind of sucks. But, um, nope. That's my AMD Spider PC, now upgraded further. Thanks for watching.